Well, standing in a pretty precarious position here, but I'm still learning, and I'm still, well, I seem to be stable, even though this could be quite a tricky situation. And uh, I guess it's a good uh, analogy of what I've gone through this summer. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, I didn't tell you guys that basically I... The reason why I got to YouTube this summer and started talking about ulcerative colitis was mainly because I was starting to get symptoms again. Now, uh, the way I'm talking right now, it should seem pretty obvious that I'm not too scared. How so? Well, by calling my naturopathic friend again, who gave me suggestions, uh, by taking different, well, taking medication for about a three-week course, uh, left, uh, symptoms left, I should say. Symptoms came back when I took a new job and had to travel in order to be trained, and uh, got the symptoms under control, kind of. A lot of dyspepsia, a lot of gas, um, bloating, and uh, going over to the washroom. Yeah. I think I just saw some kind of squirrel up there. No, just leaves falling. But yeah, uh, so now here we are in autumn, and with the harvest seems to have come a solution. Cabbages, red cabbages, uh, yes, uh, what they've been saying on YouTube, I forgot his name, but I'm going to link this video to his. He's right, because uh, it came by accident. I went over to a Korean corner store, and uh, they serve several Korean meals, uh, salad type meals, with rice, with rice noodles, and they had vegetables in there. And when I went over there, I was, I just happened to mention to them that I had allergies to wheat flour and cornstarch, but I'd always eaten there, so everything was usually great. Now, the lady who prepares the food went over, checked the ingredients on the chili sauce that they use, and lo and behold, there's wheat flour in there, so I'm like, oh God, here we go, another thing I can't eat. She goes, no, 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 try it, try it, you know, like, just try it, let me know if it's not good, and uh, so I did, and I was amazed to find that my gas that I had normally disappeared that day. So, tried again, went over there another day, tried it again, a few days later, to see if the gas had come back. It did. Um, again, eating that food made me a lot better. So I was like, okay, let's dissect this. Is it the sauce? I tried it without the sauce. No, still felt better. Okay, so I tried it, started dissecting the different vegetables that were in there. And uh, when I got to the red cabbage, that's when I realized what it was. So started eating red cabbage leaves, that was helping as well. And finally, through friends, <gasps> mm, little bug on my arm, uh, through friends who uh, also run a juicing stand over at the farmer's market here in this town, I uh, was able to get red cabbage juice. It's spicy as crazy, okay? Uh, the juice looks like blueberry juice, but it doesn't taste like blueberry juice. So I was just putting about 50 milliliters in about a 300 milliliter glass of anything else, carrot juice, apple juice, uh, blueberry juice, trying to mask the taste. Well, I still tasted a little bit, but its effects were wonderful on me. Okay, mind you, this is not the only thing I'm taking, but this seems to have been the catalyst, where all of a sudden I am symptom-free. And eating foods... Hi there! And eating foods that... I normally couldn't eat due to uh, symptoms, having to go to the washroom, uh, you know, ulcerative colitis in general. So think about it, red cabbage juice. Now I'm going to be coming back and telling you exactly all the other things I did and all the other medication I took uh, this summer, and I'm going to be doing a couple of extra add-ons, um, missing pieces if you will, as to what I did beforehand and how I kept it in check, because I've been getting questions as to how I was able to keep everything in check afterwards. I just wanted to give a little bit of the autumn leaves here. And uh, so from there, I'll be adding those on. And if you have any questions, send me YouTube messages. You can post comments if you want. If you're a survivor of UC and you've gotten rid of your symptoms, post comments as well. Let me know. Let me know you're there, first off. Let the others know you're there. Let, let them know there's hope. And, uh, well, see you on the healthy side. See you all on the healthy side. Later.